Dorval was founded in 1990, so we're coming up on our 25 years next year. It's seen a lot of changes over the years. Huge changes to the track, to where we are today, and we've actually expanded. We've got four tracks on the facility now. We're up here, we're just a total, complete volunteer, non-profit outfit, and we just love to ride. So we've built this facility and we maintain it. And Bring, like, bring as many people in as we can to enjoy it. And it's just all about motocross. August 2nd, 3rd and 4th, we have our round 7 and 8 of the AMSA Motocross Championship Series. It's a three-day event, including the practice day and we've got riders coming in from all over Alberta, some coming in from BC as well. And we're looking at probably 300 different race entries and we're talking hundreds of riders over a span of three days. Huge range of riders, all the way from the little four to six year old 50cc riders, which they're a blast to watch and go all the way through all the amateurs, the different ranks, right up to the pro level riders. We have the Allison brothers coming down, top level pros that have raced all the way across Canada for multiple years. They're coming down to, to uh, come into the Drum Heller event and, and show how the pros do. We've got a group of roughly 50 volunteers that work over the weeks and months leading up to the event and then actually during the event we've got about 50 people staffing the different positions around the track. Our refs and our flagging staff and our admissions people and the people that maintain the track and run the water system the whole works. It's a huge huge undertaking. I can't say enough about you know the whole community all the way through you know to the volunteers to the businesses in town everyone supporting the sport. And it's great to see businesses and, and a community support local and amateur sports in Alberta.